in terms of how to separate business and marriage. Um, I think it's kind of like a dance. I think that it's not necessarily one way or the other, you know, like on date nights, we sometimes talk about business because we want to talk about business, you know, but I think if you're like next weekend, um, we're heading to Miami for an anniversary and I'm already thinking in my head, just like talking here, I'm like, okay, I don't want to talk about business on that trip. I want it just to be super relaxing, super chill, not like, hey, here's a plan. We thought about this. Like, so if we have those conversations, we have those thoughts, like do them beforehand so that when you go on that date and every go on that trip, it's not about business. It's about each other. It's about getting to know each other better. It's about, you know, talking about family and goals and different things like that. Um, just being present and not always being like in the future, because that's something that I struggle with is thinking about, oh, let's do this in the future. Let's do this in the future. And then I like bring it into the now and then I'm not actually present because I'm always thinking about the future. And so yeah. um, I just like already know for myself, if I'm like that, I should have those conversations before we go on a personal trip like that. Um, but I think, I think setting those boundaries thinks each couple's different. I mean, like I said, we sometimes talk about business at on date nights and then, you know, people talking about, you can't talk about your kids on date night. I think that is like absolutely stupid. Like what? I don't get that. Well, some people, that's all they talk about. So if it's all you talk about, then yeah, that's dumb. Yeah. Like you have to connect. But even on that's the business true. and personal and marriage side, I don't really look at it that way. I look at it as this. You got marriage and you have business. I don't look at it. I look at it as we are married together. We are called by God with a mission to do something. And so it's just a calling on our life. It's mm -hmm. like our what we're building in a mission that we're walking through. So it's not like a separated thing to me where it's like mm -hmm. maybe the company is, but the visions that we have in business and what we're looking to create, those are like longer term things that are just a part of our calling. And so when we're talking about it, we're talking about our calling or we're not just talking about a certain business. And again, you mm -hmm. can talk about just one certain business and all that stuff. And that's where it's like, yeah, you have to, there's a time to grind, just like there's a time to war and then there's a time to celebrate. And you'd, th you'd see these people that would go to war, they'd come home and for like seven days, they would just like party. Mm -hmm. It's like, you have to have those times where you take ground, you fortify it, you enjoy the, what, what's there. And then you figure out what's that next thing. And I think that kind of dance is really good. But some of the ways that we've done it is just more so creating certain boundaries as, as best we can. When we're excited about our work, we'll talk about the date night, at night, whatever. If there's things that happen during the day that don't allow us to work, we'll work on stuff at night. But for the most part, it's like, hey, the weekends, we don't sit there and hardcore only talk about business. Mm -hmm. When it's nighttime, especially for me, we don't hardcore talk about business because for you, when sometimes you're with Kingston during the day, you'll be like yeah. 9.30 at night, like Having I need to work on things. Meeting. And I'm like, bro, like, I just worked all day, you didn't, now it's like you want to work because you didn't and that's that's tough but that's a new thing, right? None of this stuff's going to like go away, just the lens that you look at everything, the order of importance that you put on your, on your marriage, mm -hmm. that's what doesn't go away. And so this is a new thing, right? It's like mm -hmm. three-year-old, we had a full-time nanny for, for a while, now we have days that he goes to school, days that he hangs out with you and so now that's created a new dynamic that we have to figure out how do we do this really well i think that as an entrepreneur couple that has kids you have to figure out for your family and you're going to want to figure it out specifically for your family what's the best way to do it for you mm -hmm. because the normal employee style family stuff doesn't work like drop them off a daycare and do this it's like okay well as an entrepreneur family you may be working on projects together yeah that's why we had a full-time au pair. Now we have school plus nanny. Like, it's like, well, what's the dynamic that's going to work for our family to yeah. pour into our kids, be able to raise our kids? Because, again, that's more important than our business, too. That's true. And that works as an entrepreneur family, not just a yeah. employee family. Yeah. I think, like, we're working towards... Or the stay-at-home mom family, too, like, which is different. Yeah. So that's not us, either. Yeah. I think we're working towards in our business, how can we leverage our team and leverage more so that we can be even more with yeah. each other and, and 
our family. Because Which is tough is for me, important. though. Like, when people are working, like, it's really difficult for me to, like, watch them working. And, like, maybe I'll be doing something high level. Like, yesterday I went out with the pastor. But we're doing something fun. But that relationship is high level, meaning it's very impactful. Mm -hmm. It impacts how we do business. It's like a high mover. Even right now we're recording or I'll travel somewhere to record with someone. But I'm traveling. I'm eating yeah. lunch and the, whatever. Like I'm not in an office like doing yeah. my thing. And that's super difficult for me because other people are working really hard. And it makes me feel like I hope they don't think that I'm not. Mm -hmm. You know, like I always feel that. Yeah. It, as well as I feel bad when I'm working and I'm not with you guys, I Nick, also feel Nicholas bad. struggles with dad guilt. Yeah. I also dad feel dad. bad if I'm with you guys and not working, right? Because it's like, <laughs> oh man, it's in the middle of the day. So I have both of those style feelings that I always like constantly have to just figure out like, how do I do this well and find that, mm -hmm. you know, what's most important? What do I need to get done? When's it time to spend time with the family? But I'm mostly just saying it because it's like, there's other people out there that go through that same thing. Yeah, I think asking God for those like certain boundaries because like David Green, he works six days a week. I don't know if he always did, but I know he had like a five o'clock no work after five and he um, always had dinner with his whole family like every single night. I think, yeah, every family is a little bit different, but like even for me as as a mom who, you know, runs a company, I... And just seeing Kingston today, like dropping him off at school, like we didn't send him to school till like almost three and a half, you know? And even now I'm like, I don't know, maybe I'm going to take him out. I don't know. I'm still like, it's still, it's still difficult. It's still difficult. But I'm like, I cannot send my kid to school before like three years old. Like they're just so, so little, you know? And like, no one cares for them as much as you. And I think like realizing like you build a business so you can spend time on the things you want to spend time on. And, um, you know, I'm just so grateful that we were able to, to do that and like keep him home until he was, you know, over three years old because yeah. you just never get that time back, you know? And so I think like even being smart as a couple, it's like, okay, this is what we, we want our life to look like. Like some people want to travel all the time. Like we're not like those people that want to, like we like being home. Um, so that's not a big thing. It's just more like spending, spending time with the people we want to spend time with. Um, so figuring out like, how can we le like outsource you more, not outsource, how can we leverage your time more so you're not working all the time and like same for me so that we can, we can have that as an entrepreneurial When couple. we've gone through like the different phases of like the startup phase to the success phase as a couple, mm -hmm. traveled, built a business where we just wake up, work, go to the gym when we felt like it, night or yeah. morning. We would work and then watch the show and work. Yeah, we would work pretty much dinner, all the time before we had Kingston. Go to dinner. And then when Kingston was born, we took two years where I worked basically part-time. Yeah. You did as well, yeah. maybe. And, like, we built it that way. Now we're in a leverage building phase where we're like, okay, Kingston's at this age now where we are feel called to work more or, like, grow something and use leverage in order to to be able to yeah. grow. Yeah, and like, I think going back to the episode with, with that we talked about with David Green is – it might cost you money to put your family first. Like it might, it might, you know, hiring more team members is going to cost more money for, you know, your bottom line, but what's more important, yep. you know? So I think like thinking about that stuff and I think no one really talked to us about that. I mean, did anyone share this with you? Like, I think we just see people work as entrepreneurs and they just work all the time. And the people that we see even in business, like some of the guys like literally travel like two weeks out of the month. Like they are not home. Well, you only see them in the weeks. one environment. You don't see how it is at home. So either they're like, yeah, we don't see them at home. Terrible home environment, but you never would know. Or they do things differently and you would never know because you just see them in one environment. So yeah, it was really difficult to know what people did. Yeah. So I think being clear, like that's how we want to be is just being like super clear on how we live our life, you know? And even for you, like, like the other day you picked Kingston up from school at like four o'clock and you like spent the whole afternoon with him, you know, until I got home at like 6.30 cause I was getting my hair done. And so I think like you are a very, even though you do work a lot, like you're a very present dad.